I really feel like God um, has put that burden in my heart to be moved by compassion to go to Kenya and have, have a heart that's open and, and willing to go above and beyond and bring healing through compassion to Kenya. I'm excited to like learn about like the other people that are going and to work with the kids that are there and really like build relationships with everyone I'm going with. What I hope to gain from this trip is probably a different perspective of, of Christianity. Uh, I know that America kind of has like a stigma of what Christianity is and I've only grown up going to American churches and um, and really seeing how God moves in America but I haven't really seen how God moves in different countries. And to be his light and be part of the students who are being the light of the world. To me that's what I'm looking forward to, to actually live the Bible or to make it pop out like a storybook. We're called to go out to the missions field and preach the gospel to other people and help them out. One thing I'm super excited about is just to see how God puts everything together for His purpose. To be, to be a part of Kenya is to be a part of something bigger than myself because I know God has called me there. Um, ever since that moment, it kind of created this, this burden for me to um, to just love and, and save those who are broken and hurting. I'm excited to see God move in Kenya. And just gaining knowledge on how God uses uh, other forms of culture to bring glory to His name. I'm excited because I want to be able to experience worship in a different culture and get to build relationships with other people there. Going on mission trips, it's so easy to get caught up in expectations or what could go wrong, but you know, 2 Timothy 1.7 says that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. And Psalms 46.10 says, be still, know that I am God. So I'm just excited to see the way God unravels everything for His purpose and not what we expect or what we think could go wrong. And a Bible verse that has become really evident in my life, uh, specifically for this situation, is Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5, which says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. I'm really excited about leading this team with my beautiful wife and uh, my passion is to be able to see each of these young men and women on our team really develop a, a, a heart and a passion for international missions. And it's exciting to be able to do this and uh, tackling an issue, um, sexual purity, that is, I really believe is key to both spiritual health, relational health, and physical health. And that opens the door for us to uh, really deal with an issue that's confronting this culture in a big way. And uh, also opens the door for us to share the gospel with them, which we will do because social gospel can uh, save lives, but only the gospel can save souls. And that's ultimately our desire is to see uh, people come to a right relationship with God and live forward to his work. And I'm looking forward to having this team uh, make strides in that direction with, this, with the culture there and be a part of what God's doing in them. I kept seeing like in all these different places that God equips the call. He doesn't call the equip. 